Morning, this is Rick Ackerman of Rick's Picks, and uh, just like to do an update on a trade that uh, happened this morning. It's called a Friday jackpot bet. This is something that we do at Rick's Picks, and uh, this morning I let uh, a subscriber take the helm. Uh, he did pretty well, actually, and I'll explain uh, just exactly how in a moment, but the jackpot bet is uh, a way that we use options, calls, or puts uh, with an expectation of at least quadrupling our initial stake and doing it in a matter of minutes uh, or, or perhaps uh, an hour or so, sometimes longer if we keep a couple of the options for a swing at the fences. Uh, this morning I did uh, just raise the possibility of doing a jackpot bet and one subscriber, Guido, uh, rose to the challenge and said he would like to attempt it in uh, CF Industries, and it was a bull trade. This morning's environment was very challenging because we usually like to set these bets up so that we're fading the direction on the opening. Uh, it looked like it was going to be a down opening. So uh, the, in other words, the implication is that any stock that opened up would be head faking. But uh, Guido decided to jump on consolidated uh, C CF Industries and this was, uh, in spite of my advice, I said, I think you'd be better off to uh, playing the puts. Now, you see what happened to the actual stock. CF opened and just uh, blew away the 90 strike. Uh, it closed yesterday trading, uh, let's see, at 87 and 11. And this morning, just within the first uh, 10 minutes, it was up at 89 and eventually reached a high of uh, 90, about almost 91 bucks. Now I want to show you what happened to the call options that Guido bought to uh, activate this uh, jackpot bet. Here are the uh, CF March 4th 89 strike call options. And uh, they closed yesterday at 45 cents and today in the opening 30 seconds of the day they they opened actually for 45 cents and they traded down at 35 and guido based on uh, some of the the uh tactics we use with these bets had put uh, a low ball bid down at 35 cents and he was filled on some calls in when things go your way uh, with this bet and actually with any options bet i always and i mean always advise taking off half the position when they double in price. Uh, so this they did within the first minute. Actually, they were trading looks like uh, at, th at uh, 80 cents or 75 cents. So within the first minute and a half, they had uh, uh, more, more than doubled. And eventually, you saw the move in the stock, took these options to as high as I believe that was a dollar 52 high. So from uh, a low down there, uh, the, the options uh, almost quadrupled. So that's the way the bet works. And uh, I'm going to be enthusiastically inviting subscribers to uh, try their hand at it uh, in, in subsequent Fridays. This is a trick that we used to do, and it's uh, been a while, but uh, some time ago, there were a number of subscribers who were who were uh, hitting the ball out of the park, really, on on all of their trades. Uh, not all of them. You can't expect to win to, to quadruple every bet, but you can imagine that if you're doing that, it pays for a lot of losers. So that's it for today, and um, we'll be talking to you again. Uh, this did go out as a trade notification. This is a new service of Rick's picks that uh, when I, I very often post informal trades in the chat room, but sometimes uh, with enough detail that anybody could do the trades. Sometimes they're for people with a little more experience in the dark arts of hidden pivotry. But uh, otherwise, I, I try to make these trades doable for all subscribers. So the notifications feature gets those trades out when I post them in the chat room for people who aren't able to uh, participate in the chat room. So that's it for today. And uh, I guess I'll be uh, talking to you when I do. 
And until then, happy trading, and you all have a relaxing weekend.